What's up guys, I'm making this video because this is something that really changed my wheelie game on the Grom and on basically any other bike. My KTM Duke 690, my boy's 250R. Um, I bought my 2014 Grom to learn this exact lesson, which is rear brake control. So I've been wheeling for about a year. I was just popping second clutch on uh, my 250 and my 690 before the 250 was stolen. And I was just popping the clutch, riding out second gear, but I never learned brake control until I had the Grom. And once I learned brake control, that changed the game. So like, this is assuming you already know the basics of popping a clutch, um, sitting back, you know, yada, yada, yada. This is even, you know, more important than that, basically. Rear brake control. So now, do this exercise. It'll change your life, basically. When you pop the clutch, don't shut the throttle. I was doing this for since last summer. I bought the Grom. I really got into my head how important rear brake control is, and it, it changed everything. Like, I was doing wheelies like this, right? This is just all throttle and then shutting the throttle. So this is what my wheelies look like before I learned this. Like that, you know, high revs, um, basically chasing them out. You can never really get a safe balance point. So just do this exercise, everyone. Never shut the throttle. Don't do it. Don't shut the throttle. Start learning your wheelies like this from now on. Basically pop it. I'm gonna pop the clutch in first on the ground. I'm gonna pop the clutch, slam the rear brake. And my throttle hand stays the same. I'm never letting off the throttle. Notice how my throttle hand stays the same. I'm just hitting the rear brake. Do this a lot. Do this like 25 times every time you go out wheeling on any single bike. Now you see how it comes out? It comes down pretty hard. That's because I'm just touching it. I'm really just touching the rear brake. It took me about three weeks of just practicing like that every single day to get into my head that you're not just touching the rear brake when you're using rear brake control in a wheelie. You're actually, it's like street riding. Like you try to be really smooth with every single control. You know, you're just progressively touching that rear brake. Same thing in a wheelie. Now we're gonna do the same thing. Exercise number two. Throttle hand stays the same in a wheelie, but instead of just hitting the rear brake, just real gentle. And look how much smoother it's gonna come down now. That was bad because it's kind of windy. I'm just being real smooth with the brake. It's coming down way smoother. Throttle hand is always the same. I'm never, whatever, no matter what I do, I'm never letting go of the throttle. Now, exercise number three. Keep doing the same thing. Throttle hand stays the same. And now just keep bringing it higher and higher. And once you start getting freaked out, then, you know, hit the brake or tap the brake once you get, you know, more used to that. So now we're just gonna keep doing the same thing higher and higher. Now, keep looking at my throttle hand. It's gonna stay the same. I'm always pulling on it. That was rear brake. Rear brake brought me down. This is so much safer. It's just like when wheelies feel scary once you get them really high up. Uh, with rear brake control, it's fine. It's just like, oh, I'm really high in my wheelie and it's all nice and controlled. I got my throttle control, my rear brake control. Rear brake control basically took my wheelies from just chasing them out in the throttle into wheelies like this.
into wheelies like this. Real smooth. slow them down and just control them more and they become you know even more fun than just wheelies where you just chase them out and shut it with the throttle like this once you get rear brake control into your head it's you're you'll never wheelie without a brake I basically learned balance point brake controlled wheelies on the Grom first first wheelie on my KTM it just sticks that that lesson just sticks in your head and it really changes everything and now wheelies are just so much more fun you can fuck around with wheelies like this sticking a foot out doing some goofy stuff Wheelies like that would be so scary if I didn't wasn't able to slow it down and with uh, rear brake control. Another thing, another thing that rear brake control is going to change your life with is wheelies like this. So I would use, I used to just pop them up. The slower I pop it up, the easier the wheelie would be. So if I'm chasing wheelies out, I would do like these. And that's not bad because it comes up slow, it's not as scary, and then you can just ride it out. With rear brake control, every time I used to pop the clutch up too fast, like it comes up too fast, too high, um, it used to be, you know, it used to freak me out, it used to be scary, not anymore. Now, basically with rear brake control, you just, uh, you get used to that feeling of the height and you can do shit like this. it up real fast real slow and uh, just ride it and it's uh it's freaking awesome honestly like ah rear brake control Woo. ah so slow so nice yeah all right guys so I hope this video helps basically just keep doing these little practice sessions where you just pop it, you hold the throttle steady, and you come back down with the rear brake. Always come back down with the rear brake. Once you get that into your head, stunting is gonna be, it's gonna be so much more fun. It's gonna be less scary, it's gonna be more controlled. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be doing weekly stunt videos as I progress, so subscribe, like, comment. I'll try to make videos, help you guys. Peace.